Hi everyone, I'm Luca, one of the co-creators of the Wick Editor, the internet's free and open source multimedia creation suite, and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to share the project you make with Wick online. The first thing that we're going to need is a project made with Wic. If you don't have a project yet or you're not sure how to get started, go and check out our quick getting started tutorial. The project I have here is one of our demos, Flappy Ghost. Before I download my project, I'm just going to run it to make sure that it works well. Everything seems to be in order. The sound's working. The controls are working. I'm going to go back to the editor. Since everything is in order, I'm just going to click on the File button in the top left. Hit Export as Web Page. And what's nice about Wic projects is they just export as a single file. If I click on that file, it should just open up a browser and work perfectly fine. Now you can take that file and host it on your personal website, um, or you can send it to your friends and family, and it'll work just fine. But let's say that you don't want to send it through email or through an instant message. There are so many other places that you can put your Wic projects. Two of our favorites are Newgrounds.com and Itch.io. So if you want to upload your projects to either of these sites, click on the File tab again and export your project as a zip. This is going to create an HTML5 archive for you with your project inside. Next, you can head over to one of the sites. To upload your project to Newgrounds, head on over to Newgrounds.com, create an account, and log in. Then hit the Upload Your Creations button in the center of the screen. Choose what type of project you've made. I made a game, so I'm going to click on the Game tab. And then give your project a title, Flappy Ghost. Then you can upload your game file. Here you should upload the HTML5 archive that we downloaded before. Once that uploads, we have to make sure that the width and height of our project are set properly. To check the width and height of your project, go back to the Wic editor, click on the Project tab in the top right, and look at the size parameters. My project is actually 720 pixels by 480 pixels. Then we can upload an image to use as the icon for our project. I'm going to choose the Wic Ghost. There we go. Uh, we can add in a description for our project. Make sure that you take a little bit more time than I'm taking to set up your descriptions. And we can choose a genre. Mine's a skill avoid game. We can add in some tags, set all the rating information, and then hit preview. In the preview section, Make sure that everything is working just as normal. And once that's all checked, you can just click on Submit Your Game right on the top here. Read through Newgrounds as a user agreement. Make sure that you follow all their rules and then hit Submit. Now your project will be uh, on Newgrounds and you can share it with anybody you'd like. To upload your project to Itch, head over to itch.io, log into your account, and click on the dashboard. Then hit Create New Project. We're going to follow pretty much the same steps as before. We're going to add a project title. Uh, we can you know, make sure that our project URL is set properly. Then we can add ourselves a cover image. I'm going to choose the Wic Ghost again. Uh, then we can add a description or tagline. I'm going to add in a bit of a silly tagline again. Then we can classify what we're uploading. I'm uploading a game, but you can say you're uploading you know, any number of things. The kind of project that this is uh, should be an HTML project, since people can play it in the browser. Uh, you can also give it to people to download as well. But, but WIC projects work really well as HTML projects on itch. For the release status, choose whatever stage your project is in. Mine's completed. Uh, I'm going to disable payments on my game, but if you have set up your account to receive money on Itch, you can charge people for your game. You can upload that same HTML5 archive as before. I'm going to say that this file will be played in the browser. 
fix my viewport dimensions. This is where you, you know, put in the width and height of your project. WIC projects are mobile friendly. You can select the genre of your game. Um, add some tags if you'd like. Put in download and installation instructions. I'm going to enable comments for my game. And then I'm going to save and view it as a draft. When I'm satisfied with the state of my draft game, I'm going to click on the draft tab over here and change my thing to public, my game to public, and save it. And there we go. We have just published our game on multiple different sites. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to let us know what you liked and disliked about the video, what kinds of tutorials you'd like to see next, and be sure to check out wickeditor.com. Bye.